Ivan Otero is a county clerk in Torrance County who did some things. Today's story is a follow-up to a video from last year that frankly got age restricted because I read verbatim the county manager's report of Ivan's behavior in the office. The story all started with a public list that Otero wasn't posting for the public to access, causing a few of us residents here in Torrance County to dig further into what she was doing as county clerk. We found evidence of nepotism, which still has gone uninvestigated by the sheriff's office. She pre-signed certificates which are supposed to attest to the accuracy of voting machines that were used in the last general election because she was going out of town for a while while the machines were being tested, and other illegal and untoward actions. Concurrently, clerk's office employees were testifying to a private investigator that her behavior in the office was anything but professional. It was reported that she sparked a taser in the ear of a sleeping employee and regularly did things in her office that I won't list out here as they got my last video rated 18 and up by YouTube. Many of you in the comments requested an update on this one and there's been a lot to share so let's get to it. Hey everybody welcome to the channel it's Rob and I'm one of the Freeman people. It's the Freeman people. That's right it's Rob again. I'm back from a long hiatus. I was finally able to escape from James basement. That place is terrifying. Seriously though, I actually had a relapse of a chronic illness that had me back in the hospital several times this year, which culminated in a Saturday night midnight emergency to fix a two centimeter tear in my bladder. James was kind enough to call me the next morning while I was in the recovery room, and he reminded me that I was literally pissing myself. That made me laugh hysterically, which in turn sent shooting pains through my body. It's nice to have such good friends. But enough of my sob story out of the update. Soon after the video launched last year, the Instagram page Ivan Otero was operating from the clerk's office was shut down. Evidently there were a few people who wanted to redress grievances and chose the Instagram page as their public forum, but that avenue was closed down to restrict your freedom of speech. I want to thank everyone who called, messaged, and emailed the county officers to call out tyranny in response to my original video. Because Otero refused to resign as county clerk, Torrance County's options were limited. She occupied an elected office so they couldn't outright fire her. On October 12, 2022, the county went on record to censure her for her actions. A censure is an expression of strong disapproval or harsh criticism that is voted on to be placed on the official record. It's usually non-binding, however, a permanent record of it is kept by the county in perpetuity. So basically, it's a naughty note in your permanent record. I hope you know that this will go down on your permanent record. There were, however, two points in the official censure that are worth pointing out. Starting on page two, lines four and five say actions by Ivan Otero, quote, could have inflicted serious damage on the 2022 general election process. While lines six and seven say, quote, these actions have called into question the clerk's ability or willingness to fulfill the duties of her office. Did you hear about any of this from any mainstream media outlet? I doubt it. Here in New Mexico, it was buried in a 10 p.m. segment that no sober person watched. Her actions could have inflicted serious damage on a general election. That seems like a serious claim. The statement of questioning her ability or willingness, on the other hand, that set the groundwork for what happened next. After the censure, news reports nationwide started building, many defending the clerk. One in particular was a comically ill-advised NPR hack job about what they called false claims, and that was published several weeks after Otero's public censure. Aside from portraying Otero to be the victim of angry activists, it was especially surprising to see NPR come to the rescue of the clerk given that Ivan Otero is a Republican, and NPR makes the Soviet-era newspaper Pravda seem conservative. As a result of the reports against her, Otero was instructed to work from home until there was a satisfactory resolution in place to protect the employees who didn't feel safe with her in the office. But as it turns out, she just stopped working as clerk entirely. According to Torrance County Resolution 61, executed December 28, 2022, Ivan Otero, quote, absented herself from work, with July of 2022 being the last date her key card was used to open the main doors of her office. It also shows that she hadn't logged into the Torrance County network to work from home since February 28, 2022, 10 full months before this particular commission meeting took place when this resolution was adopted. This triggered what is evidently referred to as the eight hour rule by elected servants in counties across New Mexico. I bet your state has something similar, but it's a statute that requires an elected person to devote his time to the usual and normal extent during ordinary working hours 
to the performance of the duties of such public office and employment. The usual and normal number in Torrance County is eight hours per month. The clerk's salary is currently 69000 That breaks down to about $718 an hour. Not too bad, huh? Anyway, the commission voted to accept Ivan Otero's automatic resignation by reason of abandonment on December 28th of last year. Otero has since been hit with an ethics complaint and civil lawsuit by the State Ethics Commission that is seeking sanctions against her and fines of up to $5,000. The ethics complaint is also linked in the description description for anyone interested in some gripping reading. She has insisted on her innocence and contested her removal from office. Her removal, however, was upheld, and Torrance County now has a newly appointed clerk. And while Torrance County deserves credit for removing a corrupt servant of the people, it is worth noting the dates mentioned earlier that triggered her abandonment. Ivan Otero didn't swipe into the office physically after July, and hadn't signed into the remote network since the end of last February. They had the evidence necessary to consider her position abandoned months prior, but held off seemingly because they wanted to have overwhelmingly damning proof? Or could it be there was another agenda being played out while the public paid Ivan Otero to not perform her duties as clerk? The replacement chosen to take Ivan's spot was the previous county clerk, Linda Jaramillo, who had termed out of office and wasn't eligible to be chosen as a replacement until January of this year. Long story short, government is a tight-knit club that you're either in or you're not, and they'll waste months worth of taxpayer monies in order to keep it that way. And then they put you on watch lists when you take issue with how your tax dollars are spent. Gotta love the land of tyranny.